Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's discuss how to add terms and conditions in Odoo 40. So specifying terms and conditions is essential to set up important contractual points such as uh, payment terms, then limitation of liability and delivery terms between customers and sellers. So everyone, uh, that is every seller or buyer must declare in these formal information concerning products and company policy. So uh, let's see how this can be done in our Odoo sales. That is how we can include default terms and conditions on uh, sale orders, quotations, and invoices. Okay, so first we can uh, set a default terms and condition. Uh, so when you go to configuration settings, from the recounting module, Okay, when you search for uh, default terms and conditions, you can see an option here. Okay, so you have to enable this and uh, if you want to provide a default condition, you can uh, just add it here. Okay, so I have already added uh, some terms and conditions on invoices or orders. Okay, so these uh, terms and conditions will appear subsequently on every quotation, sale orders and invoices. And it's also possible to set a default terms and condition on quotation template. So after enabling quotation template for configuration settings, you can create uh, templates so inside the template form, you can see here option to add terms and condition. So administrator can set default terms and conditions uh, in sales settings, that is from our invoicing or accounting. And terms set here will show up instead of if you instead if you select the, this quotation template. That is, we can provide a specific terms and condition for a quotation template. So according to your business needs, you can add the terms and conditions. So I have added a default uh, terms and conditions for this quotation template, uh, like supplier and customer shall each carry insurance coverage and types and amounts, advocate to protect against any losses, damages, liabilities or expenses that may reasonably be expected to be incurred under an order and both shall keep such insurance coverage in effect until the conclusion of the order. So when you create a new quotation or an order, okay, here again, save the quotation template. And below you can see automatically that terms and conditions defined inside the template, quotation template is added here. And if you want to edit it for your quotation, you can change it from here. Okay, so same way uh, we can set the terms and condition for your sale order. Okay, here below you can see uh, some terms and conditions added for this sale order automatically. So this is taken from the uh, settings. That is, we have set a default terms and condition from our accounting settings. Okay, so this one is default for the company, which is applied on uh, set on sale orders and invoices. So when you create a new invoice, there also you can see a default terms and conditions set. Okay, we well, can see that here. And you can also edit, edit it from here. And we can also set terms and condition on your payment term. So that's really important. Here, inside the payment term, Okay, here we can add a description on invoice. That is a payment term explanation for the customer. 
Then you can also define the general terms and conditions on your website, that is using website application. So uh, when you open website after installing it, you can go to website and create a new page there. Okay, so here clicking on uh, new, you can create a new page and design that page that is edit uh, from here and can add uh, details, your terms and conditions. So I have already created a terms and conditions page from my website. So here when you come under pages, you can see manage pages. So there you can find all the pages that you have already created. Here I can find my terms and conditions. So it is not included in the menu. So when you click on this, you can view the page details. Okay, so here you can add conditions. Uh, if you want to add more conditions, you can click on edit and add blocks uh, that is text to your page. Okay, so after that you can save the page. And you can refer to this page in the footer of all your documents. Uh, so for that, So we can configure document layout. And there you can add a footer. So here uh, you can add the link that is a page link. And you can save it. So under the document, you can find the terms and conditions that you uh, set on the page. And you can also attach these general terms and conditions uh, in your emails, that is when you are sending uh, emails. So if you're creating a quotation, Okay, here you can find uh, option to attach a file. So you can attach the uh, file with terms and conditions with this email and you can send it from here. So it's so easy. So you can just click on this attach a file and upload the terms and condition file. And you can also attach your terms and conditions in your quotation template that is uh, here, under confirmation, uh, here you can see by default, uh, you have added a terms and condition and you can also find option to set a confirmation email in which you have the possibility to configure the default attachment. Uh, okay. So with auto sales, it is now very simple to deal with terms and conditions. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.